All right, everybody. Look what we have here. So I uh, I took a nap and uh, I woke up. It was a long day. It was a long day for me. I had a had to fix a few things around the house. You know, it was uh, it was chaotic but good. You know, we got it done. Um, anyway, here we have the new <laughs> or EZA info for the EZA Goku Black right here. Um, yeah, I've already looked at it. I've already done calcs. You know, I'm a little slow getting to calcs, but. You know, I, I know there's some other people who do calcs and, uh, you know, they get them up faster than I do, I guess. But, I don't know, I like my calcs better, okay? Listen, I, uh, I'm, I'm biased, but... Anyway, let's go over his details here. Um, so he leads Future Saga, key plus 4, 150% to stats, key plus 4, 100% to stats to extreme class, uh, extreme int. Um, he greatly raises defense for one turn on his 12 key, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn on his 18 key, um, those are all 50% raises. Excuse me, I swear, every time I start recording videos, I get, like, crazy indigestion. It's insane. Um, his passive skill, key plus 3 H er, attack and defense, 160%. He gets an additional 8% attack and defense each time keys key rises by 1, up to 160%. Uh, this is a multiplicative buff that will multiply in with his start of turn buff. So, essentially, if you get him to 20 key... He will get a multiplicative 160% attack and defense buff on super attack. Uh, that's, you know, pretty good. They added defense to this, and they gave him 40% more attack. Uh, before, this only went up to 120% attack. Now it goes up to 160% uh, attack and defense, which is very good. Um, he was also only at, I believe, 66% attack and defense at the start of turn. So this going up to 160% is tremendous. Um, key plus 3 when key is 18 or more so this will also be on super attack if you get him to 18 key he will jump up to 21 at least on super attack and then of course like if you get him to 19 he'll go to 22 etc right so um you need to get him to 18 key and then he gets this nice three key for free this is nice i kind of wish this was a little bit earlier um just be I, I, this guy i think occasionally depending on your team build will still maybe struggle for key so, I, I really wish that this was maybe key plus 3 when key is 15 or more. I think that'd be a little bit more generous, but, I mean, listen, it's an LR EZA, and it's a villain. I can't be too greedy, alright? <laughs> you know, Dokkan, whenever they're buffing villains, they're like, ah, ah, like, they don't want to do it, you know? So, I, I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess, uh, you know, let's not be too greedy here, right? He launches an additional super attack guaranteed when key is 22 or more. Uh, so, that's good. Uh, this should activate, so if you get him to 19 key, then you'll get that 3 key right here. So this is essentially when key is 19, uh, you'll get this. Uh, at least, like, whatever key is 19, like, before you launch a super attack. You guys get what I'm saying, right? Uh, you gotta get the 22 key, and then this 3 key should count towards that. So 22 minus 3 is 19. If you get him to 19 key on the board, you know, then whenever he actually launches his super attack, it'll boost him up to 22, and it should count then, um, for the super attack. That is nice. A guaranteed additional is good. He's getting, you know, additional 50% defense from that. Very, very powerful ability. Plus, at 22 key, he should have his full key passive right here. So, that, that's just going to be really good for him defensively. Uh, then we get to this line. Key plus 6 and high chance performing a critical hit for the rest of battle after delivering the final blow. Um, this mechanic sucks. This is actually... The final blow mechanic is the worst mechanic in the game. Uh, if you're new and you do not know what that means, that means you have to KO the enemy to get this buff. So in all of these new red zone fights that are two stages, that means you have to have LR Rosé finish off the enemy in the first phase if you want him to have this for the second phase so if anybody if any other character gets the killing blow it will not count um but if this guy gets it then you know he'll get this really good buff which he does need this extra six key is super super important to him i mean that's what 48 percent attack and defense that he gets from getting this essentially that is so so important to him um and then the critical critical hit is also just pretty nice to have you know it'll increase his damage um, and then he recovers 6% HP at the start of turn when HP is 60% or above. That's pretty nice. You know, just a little bit of extra healing is, is always pretty good. And then he recovers 6% HP at the end of turn in which an attack was received. Um, you know, you're probably going to get hit, so that, that is good. We'll go over defensive calcs for this guy in just a moment. I have a few more things I want to get through. Um, first off being his... <laughs> I don't know why this is so tiny. Um... 
this is his rage mode. So at the moment, the condition for this cannot change. Um, right here, active skills cannot be changed in the database at the moment. Uh, by the way, this is his old passive skills. So if you wanted to compare, you know, just take a look at that right there. You can see 66% attack and defense, no key or anything. 120%, you know, the final blow mechanic is terrible. Anyway, um, but yeah, the active skill condition cannot be changed. Uh, for whatever reason, they just can't update these in the, whenever they do EZAs. It's like, I guess they would have to add like a column and then like uh, update the, what is it? Like the, the UI for the EZA screen to add like an active skill buff. Because like right now they can only buff, uh, what is it? Leader skill, super tech effect and passive. Is that all that they can update? Super tech effect, passive, leader skill. I think that's it. Um, so yeah, uh, they can update what the actual like transform state does. Um, but yeah, they cannot update the condition. Oh, this is just the, that's not the transform state. This is, this is right here. Um, so yeah, right now his active skill condition is can be activated when HP is 66% or less starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle. This is terrible. You will almost never see this, it, it, which is really sad because he has a really cool KO screen. Um, but yeah, rage modes and giant forms are really valuable at the moment. And just basically being locked out of it the entire time is super sad. Um, if this guy could just get his rage mode, maybe on like... Like, if you could get his rage mode, just if your HP fell below 66% HP, this guy would be so crazy. But, uh, of course, you know, they made it HP and turn restricted until like a super late turn in the battle. Uh, the reason they did that is because at the time, whenever this guy came out during the 5th anniversary, they were really pushing long fights. You know, we had, like, the Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History was still relatively new, and that's, like, really what they were kind of pushing at the time. Like, instead of getting red zone stages whenever new characters dropped, we were getting Infinite Dragon Ball Histories pretty consistently, so... Uh, that was what they were pushing at the time, and so turn 6 really wasn't that bad, and at the time this was pretty good, but... Yeah, it's just, it's fallen off. And then this is what it used to do. He got one key per key sphere obtained, and he got a tax effective against all types, destructive damage, all that stuff. And now it goes to greatly raises attack, massively raises attack, which is really nice. That means it's going to be doing a lot more damage. He gets six key for free, which means he'll be auto supering. Um, and then he gets two key per key sphere obtained. So you only need to get three key spheres to do his 18 key super attack. And then he retains, you know, a tax effective against all types. So if you can get this thing out, it'll be doing really good damage and it could, uh, it could burn up the boss abilities and things like that. But turn six under 66% HP. I just, I don't know how often you're going to see this guys. I'm, I'm sorry, but We'll see. Maybe once I start doing the world tour for this guy, we're going to get it in every fight. You know, sometimes I say those things, and then we get it in every fight. Now, we're going to move into just a little reminder here, okay? This is the actual official EZA right here. This was my concept, guys. Um, I, I just want to point this out. So, you know, greatly raise attack and defense on both super attacks. Um, they didn't give him attack on his 12 key, but, you know, they did give him attack on his 18 key, so I got that right. Um, leader skill, I got almost right. I, this, I bumped up to 120. They only bumped it up to 100%. Sorry, this is hard to read, I, I know. Can I open this in a new tab? Here we go. Boop, there we go. And then, right here, key plus six. You know, they gave him key plus three. I gave him six key, but, you know, I'm greedy. <laughs> Let me zoom out just a little bit. There we go. So, yeah, th this is key six. And then I went to 166%. They went to 160. Um, just to compare, right? Three, 160 and then I went to, uh, <laughs> I went to 6, 166, and then plus an additional attack plus 12%, and defense plus 6%, um, each time key rises by 1 up to 120%, they essentially did the same thing, right, except for they went to 8%, you know, they kind of split the middle on it, and then, uh, did up to 160, so again, I was kind of on the same wavelength there, and then I went really crazy with the final blow, I just said 6 key every time you do it, uh, just because I don't think you're going to be able to do it four times. But I just figured, hey, every time you're able to get this really rare thing, you know, we'll be able to get it. And, you know, they went, They also went up to six key. And then they also gave him a high chance to crit, um, which I did not do. But, you know, I gave him a billion extra key. Uh, recovers 12% HP at the end of the turn in which an attack was received. They kind of did this. So I just gave him 12% after receiving an attack. They split it up to where it's 6%. Um, when 66% or, or when HP is 66% or above and then 6% at the end of turn. So they essentially gave him the 12% HP healing. They just gave you some at the start of turn, some at the end of turn, which I actually do like better, I think. 
Um, I gave him this unconditional three key support. Of course, they didn't give him that. You know, that'd be, ooh, that might be too good. And then um, performs a guaranteed additional super attack and changes a random type of keys here other than into rainbow. I mean, that was like a stretch, but they did give him the additional super attack at 22 keys. So, um, yeah, that's, that's really good. And then, you know, pretty much like we're almost in line with defense, right? So theirs is actually more defensive than my original concept. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit, which I just closed. Give me a second to pull that back up. All right, anyway, so yeah, I, I just wanted to point out that I, I was pretty close with my concept here, you know? I, Yeah, I, I am the greatest guesser in the world, guys, so, you know? I, I don't do many things. Oh, this is my build that I currently have on him. Uh, I'm probably not going to change this. We'll see. Um, I think full dodge could actually be really good for this guy because, I mean, keep in mind here, at the start of turn... All he has is 160% defense. That's not a lot. Against this new Zamasu who's doing 500k normals, you know, at the... <laughs> he's doing 500k, guys, at the start of turn, you know, usually. It's usually in slot 1. Uh, not very many times is he, you know, pushing that AoE to slot 2 or 3. Um, so, yeah, you're going to end up taking a lot of damage off of that. So, let's go ahead and start looking at his calcs now. Again, that's my build um, right there. We'll, we'll see if I end up changing this. Um, I might, you know, maybe I could give him some more additional because that extra defense that you get is going to be really nice. So we'll see. We'll see how it ends up going and maybe halfway through the world tour, I'll adjust this. We might give him more dodge. We might give him more additional. But I really think that defensively, he's going to be fine in most fights in the game right now, except for the new Zamasu fight. So that, that could be like the one where you really want dodge. And that's also the fight where you're going to need the most help. So... We'll see. We'll see once I actually get in and start doing it. So here we go. Um, I have def defense calcs here. So this first set that we have is um, just assuming his normal defense stat. So on the left right here, this is no support. And then on the right, it's with 39% support from Chi Lai. Or I guess this could also be Bulma, depending on who you want it to be. But um, yeah, I just assume 39% support over here. I, whenever I do these calcs, I'm just kind of thinking about a setup I would use. So I'm thinking about this right here on a villain team. I, you know, I could go super crazy with it and just do like a like a super class team or well, like a super, like a future team and have like Int Mai on there giving support. Like Gawasu and Zamasu giving support sometimes and, you know, just like all these different support units, right, that are supporting. But um, I, I, I just didn't do that. So I just kept it with 39% support here from Chi Lai. Um, but again... It, 1% support if you wanted to just make this a true 40 isn't going to make a huge difference. Um, anyway, in this column, of course, we have the 100% calcs. And then over here, we have the 100% support calcs. And then I also do 55% because I know there are people out there who are going to go, hey, you know, should I pick this guy up with a stone or with my coins? Or I got this guy off the 55 ticket multi. Is he good? Or 50 ticket multi this time. Um, so that's why I always like to include the 55% calc because I always see people asking for the 55%. Every time I do a calc, they're like, oh, of course, you assume 100%. But it's like, okay, well, fine. I'll do a 55% column. Uh, typically, units aren't super impressive at 55%. So, you know, expect like a decrease in their power. But um, anyway, right here, you can see we start out the turn with 11,681k uh, or 11,681 defense right here. And then at 55%, you start out with 8,681. That is backed up by this right here. Wait, why is this? Why is this 8281? Am I dumb? Hang on. No. Here it is. Okay, I don't... I guess that's like a rage mode thing. His defense is different. Okay, but yeah, here it is. 8681 right here. Okay, if we're actually like on the LR right here. I was like, guys, there's no way. You get 2,000% stats at 55% up from, like, your base stat, and then you get 5,000 for being int. So I was like, there's no way that I'm wrong there. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> um, anyway, back over here. So, yeah, there, there, those are his stats um, right there. And then the way you calculate it is you multiply by 5 for the leader skill buff. And then if you're on a 200% leader. Then you multiply by 1.25 for the links. In this case, the only defensive link that he has is big bad bosses. So you take the 58,000 or the 43 or whatever, wherever you're at on the table. Multiply by 1.25. 
Next lineup, we got the 160% at the start of turn. So you multiply the 73 by 2.6. And then he gets 160% on super attack if you have at least 20 key. So you multiply by 2.6 again. And then he gets 50% per super attack he does. He does have the ability to an additional, so he could potentially do three super attacks on a turn. So you can see here after one super attack, he's at 740. If you get the additional, you're going to be at 987. And if you get the triple super attack, you'll be at 1.2 million defense. And then over here... Um, if you, uh, you know, have 39% support on the rotation, then you can get up to 1.4 million here. And again, the way you calculate that is you take the 493 multiplied by 1.5, 493 multiplied by 2, 4, 493 multiplied by 2.5 for the last one. So, uh, same thing applies down here, just down here. Um, I try to highlight the cells where things are going to be different in each of my calcs. So down here, the only thing that really changes is I'm assuming that you have 12 key, the minimum key that this guy could have on a general turn is 12. Um, so you would start out the turn with 6 key from the leader skill, right? Just most normal leader skills give 3 key. If you have 2 of them, you start out the turn with 6 key. Um, and then he gets 3 key in his passive. That bumps you up to 9. And then if you're linked with the Tech Fusion Zamasu, I believe they share... Is it Fear... No, it's Dismal Future, isn't it? Yeah, right here. So they share a dismal future. Um, I figured this is probably going to be your most common linking partner for this guy. So again, they share dismal future. That'll give you two key. So that means, you know, six key plus three key plus two key is 11. And then you have to collect at least one key sphere. So then that would push you at 12. And that is the absolute minimum key he could get. And so that's why I assume 12 get there. And then this is kind of the same scenario, but we have Chi Lai support on rotation. So the minimum key that we could get would be 15. Now, let's say you're running in with like AGL Rose, uh, AGL Zamasu. Um, AGL Zamasu does actually share more key links with him. So he shares Fear and Faith and Dismal Future, which is four key. So then you would have, right, you would have the six key at the start of turn. Uh, hang on, real quick, hang on. Uh... Okay, I don't know when or how, but we were playing, like, Goresh's Dragon Ball Z Kakarot in the background. Um, we, we should be back to lo-fi beats now. I, I don't know how we ended up on the Goresh video, but, uh, sure. Anyway, so sorry, but if you guys just heard Goresh in the background for a while. <laughs> Professional, high-quality videos here. Um, but AGL Zamasu, he shares four key with links from him. So you start out the term with six. You get three from his passive that puts you up to nine and then you get, you know, four from the passive here that puts you up to 13 and then Zamasu also gives two key support. So that would put you at 15 minimum. So bare, bare minimum that you could get linked with AGL Zamasu would be 16 key then because you have to collect one after that. So I did not do any calc specifically linked with this guy, but just keep in mind that um, it, it would be just a little bit higher than what I'm showing right here. You know, 15 key, 16 key. It's not going to make a huge difference, but I mean, it is a small difference here. So, um, but you'd also be missing out on the 39% support potentially, but you know, I just, you know, I can't do a, I mean, I could, I, I could do like a calc for every single key level that he's ever going to be at. But I, I just figured I'd do a couple summaries here. So this is kind of like a like a bare minimum basement for this guy. Um, and then also keep in mind, if you're below, what is it, 22 key, you're not going to be getting the guaranteed additional. So three super taxes out of the question whenever your key is this low. So um, most of the time, it looks like this is where you're going to be at, this 558 to 720 range, depending on your support um, and things like that. So this is like his floor right here this 558 and then like 1.4 is kind of his ceiling i mean not officially because again you can juice these guys out of this world but um in terms of like reasonable range at base stats you know no equips or anything boosting your defense this is kind of your range is somewhere between 558 and 1.4 depending on a variety of factors that can affect your character um, and then I did want to do the same exact scenarios. However, I added in 1300 to our base stats right here. So this would be if you have a level seven defensive bronze equip and a like one of the 600, like if you have like a dodge and defense EX equip that gives, you know, like level four dodge and 600 defense and you attach it to this guy, you know, that'd be a total boost of 1300 defense here. Um, so just kind of how his stats would change. So you can see now his floor right here is 6.2 or 620k and his ceiling is now 1.5, almost 1.6k uh, def million defense here. So you can see that th that is a bit of a shift. So again, that's, um, you know, 558 to 1.4 to, 
you know, 620 to 5 points or 1.57. So that is a bit of a range there. Again, take the time. You can pause this, take a look at it. I also have it up on my Twitter, so be sure to follow me there. Um, again, sorry I was a little late getting to this, and you guys probably follow other people for calcs at this point anyway, because I don't have a blue check mark, and I'm not very, you know, I don't, I don't know. Am I really providing more? I think I am. The reason I like to do my calcs like this is I like everyone to be able to see each step in the calculation. That way they can try to learn from what I'm doing and they can show, like I'm showing my steps, right? If I just show you guys the end result of the defense, you don't know how I got there. Whereas if I show you this, hopefully some of you guys can start to teach yourselves how to calculate defense over time, you know, and you can figure it out. So that's, that's kind of why I like to do this. And then I also show 55% here. So... Hopefully you guys find these useful. I hope you do. I, I try to, you know, put some effort into the formatting here, make it look nice for everybody. Do a variety of scenarios. That way we can, you know, see these guys in different, you know, outlooks, things like that. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you guys are excited for this guy's easy A. Um, I don't know if he cracks like my top 10 LRs or anything like that. Definitely not. But, um... He seems pretty good. You know, I'm excited. I'm like, whereas the Int Goku Black, like the base form EZA, I was like dreading his showcases. This guy, I'm actually looking forward to his. I'm going to try to get him in a variety of scenarios, a variety of different levels of support. His 200% video, we're going to juice that guy. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Again, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about how, um, like, with me getting, like, I, I think I was pretty close. Let me know if you guys think that I was pretty, if I was pretty close with my concept here, or if, uh, you know, let me know if you think I, that I was just, like, way off the mark or something like that. You know, if I'm, if I'm just, you know, basking in glory that doesn't exist. Um, anyway, I really appreciate all of you guys watching. Thank you so much for your support during this, uh, celebration. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, I try to. Resp I have really enjoyed responding to all of your comments, all the different people popping up in the comment sections. It it's meant a lot to me over this, uh, you know, period of time here. So again, thank you so, so, so much for all of your support. Thank you for watching this video. Um, shout out to Stray uh, for the low for the lo-fi beats, and uh, I guess shout out to uh, to, to Gresh. He was playing in the background of this video at some point. Again, I don't know how it switched. It just like switched on its own. So I I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let me know if you guys are excited for this guy's easy A. Here it is one more time before we leave. Uh, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I want to know your thoughts. Down in the comments below. Get in there. Get in there. Let me know. I'm pointing. You can't see me pointing because I don't have a webcam. <sighs> this is pretty good. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Uh, he's, listen, by the way, you know, we, uh, I didn't really mention it. One thing before I leave. I know I'm scatterbrained as hell, but, um, you know, 189k defense here at the start of turn. Um, you know, let me just pull up a quick calculator over here. Hang on. Uh, you know, roughly, can you guys see? No, you can't see the calculator. How can I get you to see the calculator? Hang on. All right, there we go. You can see this little calculator. Just, you know, roughly, right? 500k normals from that AOE. We subtract out 189.816. It's... For extreme, like, type neutral characters, it's roughly a one-to-one. -one. Uh, he's going to be taking a lot of damage from that AoE before he attacks, so. You know, that is, that is a lot of damage, and, you know, it, it can go up to, like, this. Ugh. So, we'll see. We'll see how he does in-game, but, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.